Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about a widely known beach here in San Diego that has an incredible history. Pacific Beach. Pacific Beach was founded in 1886 by a bunch of real estate tycoons and bankers who reached out to really develop Pacific Beach into what it is today. Early San Diego land speculators had discovered a diamond in the rough, but from the beginning, it was a tough sell. An 1872 San Diego Union newspaper article warned prospective buyers against the inflated price of $25 to $100 for these Bayside lots. A little known fact about Pacific Beach's major landmark, Crystal Pier, is that it used to be called Pickering's Pleasure Pier. Constructed in 1927, Crystal Pier has been a major destination for travelers. Growth through the pre-war years was pretty slow, and PB seemed destined to remain a rural outpost. Until then, little thought was put into the recreational side of this Oceanside property, but by the end of World War II, that changed dramatically. Pacific Beach led all the San Diego suburbs in new population growth. Land values began to soar with this beachfront property leading the way. By the early 1970s, growth in Pacific Beach had advanced so swiftly that limitations became urgently debated. And for the first time, a moratorium was placed on the city and certain building specifications and land uses to work on the extreme growth in population. In 1892, the San Diego Electric Railway was established by a well-known San Diegan entrepreneur, John D. Spreckles. The railroad's original network consisted of just five routes, but it basically connected downtown San Diego all the way up to La Jolla going through Pacific Beach. At its peak, the San Diego Electric Railway operated more than 165 miles of track. Its slow decline in ridership was due mainly to people buying automobiles and driving themselves around town. This ultimately led to the company discontinuing the streetcar service in favor of bus routes in 1949. Some say that there was a conspiracy between General Motors and the National City Lines as the president of San Diego Electric Railway was a former employee of the National City Lines. A few surviving pieces of the railroad track are still visible in San Diego, but it is sad to say that at one time we did have a killer means of public transportation that was all powered by electricity. And of course my favorite part of Pacific Beach is the surf culture. The surf culture started in Pacific Beach generations ago, and that was mainly attributed because Pacific Beach is built for everyone. There's a wave for everybody at Pacific Beach. There's a wave for beginners, there's longboarding waves, there's great body surfing waves, and there's great shortboard waves. Plus the beach itself is a very welcoming place to be, with plenty of restaurants to eat food at, bars to have a beer, and just an all around positive environment. Pacific Beach has been home to many famous people too, like musician Eddie Vedder, Polly Shore, Tony Gwynn, and one notable San Diegan, Skip Fry. Many people, with myself included, would refer to Skip as simply surf royalty. Skip started his surfing career in 1958. Skip was a pro surfer turned board shaper. Skip rode professionally for GNS surfboards and eventually created his own model for them in 1967. Skip captured national titles and represented the United States team internationally in 1966. Skip was featured in a ton of magazines including Sports Illustrated, Surfer's Journal, Surfing Magazine, and Surfer Magazine. Skip's known for his gliding and fluid style through some of the most demanding surf in the world. Skip is probably most recognized by his fry wings that he puts on all of his surfboards that he creates. Skip's also known for his innovations with foiled surfboard fins. And thanks to him, we now have the egg, the fish, and tons of specialized longboard shapes. He's even developed a moderate temperature wax called the Man Wax, which is perfect for San Diego waters. Skip still surfs every day in San Diego and you'll see him down in PB all the time. His surfboards are now considered collector pieces. Skip's also been inducted to the Surfer Walk of Fame in Huntington Beach in 2011. And it's thanks to this surf god that Pacific Beach is what it is today. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you learned something from today. Uh, this one actually took me a few days to compile all the information and put it together. But let me know if you like this video. Smack that like button. And why don't you write down below what beach you want me to cover next time. And if you've missed any of my other history of videos, uh, try clicking right around this area here. And if you haven't already, uh, click in this area uh, and subscribe. Subscribe for more. Watch more videos. 
Well, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.